Brief video today, kids, about shock absorbers. Everything there is to know. I don't know about everything, but whatever. You might learn something. Shocks are a funny thing. Briefly, the important thing to know about shocks is really the only symptom you're going to have of it when a shock is going bad is that it's cupping the rear tires. It's creating a scalloped effect on the surface of the tires, a, a, a sort of a wavy, bumpy kind of thing. And that is only caused by rear shocks on a front-wheel drive vehicle, and that's what's to know. The fun thing is that shocks are easy to do with the addition of one... Oh, somebody's here! With the addition of one uh, tool, an e-socket of the right size, as mentioned in this video, you can change your shocks yourself. Floor jack, simple, 20 minutes. And you will notice quite a bit of difference. The other thing to know is that they're all pretty much the same at the bottom end of the market. In the middle is the factory shock, which is quite good and durable, but it's expensive from the dealer. And at the top for me is the Bilstein B6, which is now, as of this video, is available. They were in and out during the Rona and the supply chain and all that, so you couldn't get them. And they're pretty blue and yellow color, and that's fun. All right, let's get to it. You are going to see it all. Love you! Okay, kiddies, here you see a screenshot of all the shocks they sell at Rock Auto. I've assorted them more or less low to high price. You see the FCS brand uh, at very cheap, 25 bucks a piece. The PRT, similar, 29 bucks. The Bilstein B4, which claims to be an OE replacement. I don't know if that's true. 50 bucks a piece. Then you got the Monroe, which is uh, the Monroe Magnum. Ooh, 33 by 34 bucks. And finally ending with the Bilstein B6 at 85 bucks a piece from Rock Auto. Okay, and now we see a screen grab from AutoZone. Get into the zone. Get into my zone. Get all up in my zone. Uh, I see two shocks here listed, basically. The top one sure looks like the... FCS to me, but for more money, and I don't know what that silver one is, but that gives you an idea what's going on. Uh, AutoZone also sells the Bilstein at, I think, 150 bucks plus. You would buy it from Rock Auto. What are you, stupid? Buy, get it cheap. All right, another day in paradise here, doing the shocks on the 14 Pro Master rear shocks. These are original at 494,000 miles. This is what a shock at 494 looks like. There's just nothing. But they lived. Uh, all you very simple. Two bolts, right? Yes. One at the top, one at the bottom. Just tightening that up. The rocket science. What is that socket called again? It is an E24. These are actually Husky brand from Home Depot. Let me see the, the throat of the thing. Yep. Sexy. Very simple. Uh, if your ProMaster is cupping tires, this is why. Uh, so far as I know, at least in the rear especially, there's nothing that can cup a tire except a shock that's not controlling its motion. Is that accurate? Would, would you say, say Mr. So. I went to school for automotive? Yeah, there's other things under certain circumstances that cause that, but on this van, yeah, it's the shocks. There you go. And now you know. Here we have a pair of factory shocks that I keep as uh, spares. These are relatively low miles from a customer who replaced them with something else. Uh, you'll know they're original because they say Copart on, or Co, Cofap, which sounds dirty, made in USA. And those are the part numbers and gas jars, whatever. So, hi! The rebound rate is quite uh, spiffy. Uh. I would classify those shocks as good. They certainly feel smooth and they're in okay shape. Of course, the only real metric you have, other than cupping tires, is to look at the boots and see if they're leaking any oil. These are gas charge shocks, so you wouldn't see that, but there is oil in there as well to lubricate them. Okay, well, here we have a pair of shocks from, uh, these are five years old, certainly original and pretty crappy. Oh, they compress, they work, but you know, they were replaced with new and, uh, and a large difference was reported in performance. Here's a brand new Monroe. Monroes are probably the cheapest shock, although I'm sure there's some off brands uh, that are around. You can buy these from Rock Auto or usually you go to a place like AutoZone, they'll sell you a Monroe or something made by Monroe. Let's take a look here. I got your Monroe. Um, because there's no boot, does that imply that this is a gas charged or or an or a oil charged shock? Chinese content stable. I don't know. Let's see. Shock. Oh my God! They sell it in every country on the planet. Does it say on the sticker? Made in 
black paint made in USA, whatever. Okay. Again, because the shock is so damn cheap and easy to do, I mean, I think these are under 20 bucks a piece, something like that. I can compress it. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, smooth. Quite quick. This is definitely gas. I would say that has less of a spring rate than the factory one, but I don't know if the spring rate matters so much, just that the thing works smoothly and controls the motion of the tire so that it doesn't cup. Shocks, as you know, are not suspension. Yes, if you put a very stiff shock in, you'll have a harder suspension, but um, a shock absorbs shock. A spring absorbs bumps, if that makes sense.